Hey folks, this is Ryan. I'm going to translate Presidente Arias' speech into English. And a big thank you to Alfonso and Nina for helping with the translation. This could be the last time I see everyone as the Costa Rican president. On May 8th, I will just be one more Costa Rican citizen, but I would like to be with you many more times. We are at the end of my four-year term. In May, 2006, we found a country without direction. We were a boat that was in need of a captain to give it direction. This is what we did the last four years. In those last four years, we have made a few mistakes, but Within these mistakes, we have paved the road for Costa Ricans to walk on. It was not easy because this country resisted various things. We used to be the only country with a monopoly in communication sources and insurance. We were almost the only country who wanted to be separated from the rest of the world. Meanwhile, all the countries in Latin America and the Caribbean were looking to integrate themselves into stronger economies like North America, for example, with over 300 million inhabitants. At that point in the referendum, we wanted to tell the world that we weren't interested in integrating ourselves with these economies. And we wanted to separate ourselves from international commerce. So we broke ties with Taiwan in order to establish ourselves with an economy that grows at a rhythm of 10% annually and that very soon will become the number one economy in the world. And they will also be our top economic partner, China. China, among many things, has left us an unforgettable gift. The only construction in Costa Rica that has been rapid. And that is the construction of the national stadium. We did many things while campaigning in 2005 and 2006. I visited Guanacaste and became aware that we had built a handful of five-star hotels, but that the roads to these hotels were only one star. But that is no longer the case now. We have invested five times more money for roads in Guanacaste, and the people now know it and see it. And when I see these children, these students, wearing their light blue uniforms, it shows how we have come to organize a group of 165,000 students whose mothers receive a check every month between 15,000 and 60,000 colones with the purpose of keeping these kids in the classroom because we know all too well that education is the only way to steer our future generations so that they can make leaps in development and so that they can live a more dignified life. Education is the only thing that redeems us from poverty. During this international crisis, our hope diminished rather than flourished. But the youth did not drop out of school, regardless of their economic situation. And we owe that to our program, Avancemos. Just the other day, I inaugurated one of the most recent music schools. We now have 32 music schools nationwide with over 7,000 musicians. 
So I said to Minister Nena Carballo that now I think children six or seven years old will be holding the bow of a violin in their right hand. And that right hand will never hold a gun or a knife or a crack rod. This means that we have accomplished some great things, very beautiful things. It is very difficult to say farewell. It is very nostalgic. And I always have a heavy heart and a lump in my throat. I only want to thank you for all of the confidence and the warmth that you have given me over these last four years. Though this is the last time we will see each other while I am in the role of president, I want to let you know that in Oscar Arias, you will always, always, always have a sincere friend. God bless you all. Que Dios los bendiga a todos.